Solving a linear equation. So basically equations means that the left hand side and the right hand sides are equal, isn't it? So it's all about finding the values of variable for which left hand side is equal to right hand side. So this is one of the simplest example by which we can uh, say that the left hand side and the right hand sides are equal. So let us understand how to solve equation by using this weighing scale or balance scale. Now we know that equation means equals, right? It is a equality symbol that is very important. So let me place this equality sign here. Let me place some blocks in this weighing scale. So you see here there are some blocks which are placed in this weighing scale and you see what happens. So you see the scale is unbalanced because we have three blocks on one side and two on the other side. So if I add one to the other side, what will happen? The scale will get balanced. So whatever mathematical operations we use, we have to use it on both the side to keep it balanced, that is equal. So let me add two more blocks to the left hand side. What will happen? The scale will again get unbalanced. So in order to balance, I will have to add two more blocks to the right hand side as well. So it gets balanced again. Same way with subtraction. Let's say if I remove two blocks from the right hand side, it's unbalanced again because this weighs more, isn't it? So what do we have to do to balance the scale now? I will have to subtract two from this side as well. So you see the scale is balanced again. Now you look at the balance scale, it is balanced because we have equal weights on both the side. Let's say if I divide this by 2. So 4 divided by 2, answer is 2. So we will remove 2. What will happen again? It will get unbalanced. So in order to balance, I will have to divide 2 to the left hand side as well. So we have 2 remaining here. And the balance scale is balanced. So this is how we solve the equation. In order to maintain the balance, whether you add, subtract, multiply or divide on one side, the same you have to do it on the other side to maintain the balance. Often we talk about the unknown quantity while solving linear equations. What do we mean by that? Let me take this bag here. So to label this bag, I can use a question mark here since we don't know what's there in it. But typically in algebra, we use a variable x. So since this is empty and we have a bag here, so what will happen to the balance? It will get unbalanced. So to balance this scale, we will have to place another bag here with the same weight. So now it gets balanced. Because it's the same quantity in each of this bag, I can give them the same label that is x. And if I put both these bags together, we will actually get 2x. This was x, x, so addition of x plus x will be 2x. So uh, similarly, if we have three bags, it will become 3x, if 4, then 4x and so on. So actually the bag represents here the unknown quantity that is x. Since we have two bags, it will be 2x. So let us solve an equation 2x plus 3 equals 7. To solve this equation 2x plus 3 equals 7, let us use this uh, balance scale. So in the left hand side we have 2x, so we have used two bags here. Each represents x, so x plus x is 2x. And then right hand side we have 7, so I have used 7 blocks here. So left hand side what is missing is plus 3. So, in order to balance this, I will have to add 3 blocks. So, let me add 3 blocks here. In order to solve this problem, I need the final value of x. 
which means from left hand side we will have to remove the addition of 3 and then multiplication of this 2. But we can't simply remove this 3 and 2. We need to apply the rule of balance method. So in the left hand side we have 2x plus 3 which equals in the right hand side we have 7. So let me just place it here. So the first thing that we will have to do is remove 3 from the left hand side. So 3 here is represented by this 3 block. So let me remove those 3 blocks. So what will happen to the scale now? It will get unbalanced. So in order to balance, we will have to remove 3 blocks from right hand side as well. So I remove 3 blocks from here. So we see equation is once again balanced. So what we will have here? From here we have removed 3 and from here we have removed 3. That means from both the side we have subtracted 3. So what will remain here? We have only 2x that is remaining. And in the right hand side from 7 we have subtracted 3. So what will remain here? We will have 4. So 2x equals 4. We have represented that in the equation. So what I need now here in the left hand side is just the value of x. So this multiplication of 2 has to be removed to get the value of x. Which means we will have to divide 2 on both the side. Okay, When 2x divided by 2, we will have x. So if I divide 2 on the left hand side, I will have to do it on the right hand side as well. So when we divide by 2, which means we will have only half the quantity that will remain. So we have 2 here. So when I divide by 2, we will have only 1 back remaining here. And then 4 divided by 2 is 2. So 2 will be removed from here. So finally, now 1 back was labeled as x. And then right hand side we have two blocks that is remaining. So let's check what's there in the back. Let me remove this. So you see here inside the bag we had two blocks. So our left hand side and right hand side is balanced. So I hope everybody has enjoyed this activity and have understood how to solve linear equation using the balancing method. Thank you students.